One day in Washington, D.C., when I was talking with some people, when I started to talk about Sequoia Capital, I remembered this clearly, it was at the end of 2016. When I mentioned Sequoia Capital poses a threat to the U.S. Those two I was talking with started laughing. Miles, Sequoia is the U.S. fund which is trusted by Americans. I said, you mean Neil Shen? All right, you can keep trusting him. I have told you that 10 of Jack Ma are not even comparable to one Neil Shen. Even if Pony Ma is added up to double, Neil Shen still far exceeds. In terms of those who were ambitious to infiltrate the US i.e. among those who were organized and well-planned to influence various sectors in the US, including American lawyers and juridical communities, military and intelligence sectors and even Capitol Hill. HNA was the first one at that time followed by Wang Jian Lin and Jack Ma. Pony Ma was behind of all the above. However, long before the above came to the US, the US has been infiltrated via Sequoia for over a decade. For people like Bruno Wu and Neil Shen, they became CCP spies right after they were born because their parents were CCP top-level spies. Because their families carried the so-called red CCP gene. This is the key point. How they came to the US how they went to schools in the US including how they obtained their green cards and citizenship. Whom they met with for dinner or meetings. Every of those steps have been planned. Sequoia Capital not only influences the entire media and technology sectors in the U.S., also there is a famous K Street in Washington, D.C. Sequoia Capital is very influential there. Until now, including the current moment, if CCP has a shadow government in the U.S., Sequoia Capital is among them. 